Welcome back, Clashers. I'm Dragon Puppy here, and a big welcome back from my clan as well. So, you know what? Today's episode is on giants, how to use them strategically. So let's get into it. So, as everybody knows, giants love their defenses. But something I didn't know until looking into this is they also target the warden. That's kind of cool. Now, all you really need to know from here, you want to check it out, go ahead and pause. But they attack every two seconds and they take up five housing spaces. That's all you really need to know. Okay? Here, this is my typical army for war. When I'm going to war with a Town Hall 6, this is pretty much what I'm taking, okay? And I'll just go out here, and we're going to go ahead and find something out here. These lower level giants, that's pretty much all you're going to have all the way up through Town Hall 8. Once you get to Town Hall 8, you don't even start with golems. you got to work your way through Valkyrie, and then after Valkyrie, then you can go ahead and get golems. But giants, they're pretty much your bread and butter they're your base defense all the way through. Now, I'm a big fan of three golems myself when I'm up in Town Hall 9. But my lower guys, I, I, I actually I prefer dragon attacks too. So, giants don't really get used big for me. Now, they used to get used big for me because that's all I did was a ground attack. And when all you have is ground attacks, you, you, you're, you can't go wrong with the giant. Uh, not much really hurts them. You know, single shot troops can go forever. This hurts right here. Yeah, bye. Spring traps really suck. But another thing is, is your giants, when they walk through a big bomb, like right here, boom, they're still alive, right? And they can go on and they can fight things and they can crash down. The nice thing is, is having that two second attack, it does a lot of damage in a single swing. And you get a group of them and they can really chunk through things quick. So, all right. So this is my Town Hall 8, and this is just basically going out to farm with. Uh, if I was going to go to war, I'd probably replace the uh, Barbarians here with some more Wizards, but it's pretty versatile all the way around. So I find myself a nice little base to hit here. If I can ever kill off a Royal nice and early in a fight, I, I always will. Especially when you can suck them all the way back and take nothing else but Royal damage. You can make pretty short work of it rather quickly. I like doing a nice fan on some giants too. Gets a good spread, gets lots of targets, they end up grouping up anyways. Again, if you see here, I place my heal spell in an opportune place for everybody to stand in, and will stand in that thing right up until that spell is gone. I like healing giant groups of things. And if I can if I can get a heal spell onto a big mob of giants like this, my it, well you can see what it's doing. It's just absolutely decimating. Again, that two seconds. I I was really underestimating them before, but when you've got that two second attack and those high swings with the giant groups, man, they make short work of these walls, especially when you have a giant higher than that wall level. Now, as you can see here, boy, I got lots of troops left in behind, able to clean up this base rather easily. I don't know. I really do, though, like these <laughs> these bigger giants here, these level 6 giants that I just got on Dragon Puppy, and I'm able to donate these max giants. Man, max giants here at 100 damage every swing. You get four of them in a clan castle for a level 20. That's four max giants. That's 400 damage every two seconds on a defensive building. It's, it's rather nice. Uh, I'm definitely giving giants another look all the way around. And here we go, okay? I find a really weak Town Hall 9, but how do you resist? With numbers like this all the way around, uh, I, I definitely started in my own personal farming. I have come up a few levels. I'm not down in the silver anymore, but I'm using jump spells. <coughs> and, man, have they ever upped my game and upped what I've been able to get? And since I've got these level 6 giants, boy... They just, they pack that punch and they've got the hit points. It's like all of a sudden, you know, when you get those level 4 wizards and they don't quite pack enough punch, and then all of a sudden you get those level 5s, and you're like, oh yeah, hey, that's actually doing some damage. That is shredding. Well, 
this is the level for giants. Up until now, they're always just kind of a lumbering, slow attack force. They don't really do a heck of a lot. You know, it doesn't really melt buildings that fast. All of a sudden, out of the blue, I got this extra level on them, and it's like night and absolute day. Giants really do take off and become their own force to be reckoned with, we'll call it, at this Town Hall 6. And when I'm giving out these max giants, boy, that is something completely different altogether. So, I've actually, all the way around, come full circle on giants. I used to use them. I, I stopped using them all the way around. And now that I've got these giants here, I really think I've come back. And I'm going to actually start working more giants into my general attacks. Now, I haven't done one for a while, guys. So, here it is. I got you a boner award. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mermaids, hypnotoad. Like your favorite herpes infection from high school, I am Nartan, bringing you the big boner award. Today, on my boner award, we've got Nian Chan Wai, hero of Myanmar, t trying to crack the uncrackable defense of Fort Nartan. Now, he's got some giants, and they're beefy giants. I love the level 6 giants. I use them, or use them quite frequently. They're sexy. They're totally sexy. I get it. But what they can't do is they can't do damage to break through a wall. So they're just going to sit there for most of the thing and die. What we want to watch is this other side. This mass of little tiny archer garbage and with some wizard backup just tear through my splash damage like it wasn't there. So they can live just a little bit longer. Now, here in about three seconds, four seconds, whatever, my sound might be off, that mortar is going to destroy 80% of this army. I mean, it's the hero. You bring in a bunch of little stuff against the mortar, it's going to wreck your day, bro. I don't know what you're trying for, maybe that dark, but let me give you a hint, it's in the middle. Nice try. You're my boner today. You took nothing. I can make that back in an hour. Thank you all for watching. This has been Nartan and Medusa's Rage. Catch the Rage. Hey, thank you guys for watching, and a big thanks here from my clan as well. So you know what? Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.